This is the Army today. The acts of the Buffalo Soldiers in Italy during World War II are what legends are made of. Sergeant Tony Brazier takes us to a mountain in Italy where one of these legends was born. It's quite a trek getting up the trail that leads to Somo Colonia. It's a difficult path that's been around for hundreds of years and has seen a lot of history. During the winter of 1944, there were some Americans that made the journey up but never came back down. I get to see a lot of the history, all this hiking up here, and they think about carrying ammo. Look at the stuff from back then, it's like, wow, like, they went through it, they went through it all. Partisan and American forces who had earlier taken the town were forced to retreat, leaving only a few forward observers from the 92nd Infantry Division. On the day after Christmas, one of them, Lieutenant John Fox, repeatedly called for artillery, and when finally overran by the Germans, called for fire upon his own position. It's just crazy, um, especially to knowing that it's either them or me. It's like. It's just bravery. This is the perfect way to explain it. Service members from Camp Darby annually follow in the footsteps of Lieutenant Fox and the 92nd to join representatives of the town of Somo Colonia and the Comune de Barga to honor the joint sacrifices of the Italian partisans and the Allied nations during the war. The ceremony is humble, and the details of Lieutenant Fox being posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor echo through the streets and off the tower that remains in ruin. It is a solemn event that has brought our two nations together in a way that isn't easily put into words. Army Sergeant Tony Brazier, Somo Colonia, Italy. No campaign in Western Europe cost more in lives lost and wounds suffered than the campaign in Italy. And that's the Army Today.